Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my third time doing my intro because I couldn't get the lighting right. <laughs> I think I finally got it. So yeah, today's video is going to be a Paris haul. So I recently went away to Paris for like three days-ish, just slightly under, and I picked up some really cool stuff that I wanted to show you. So this is going to be my Paris haul video. So if you'd like to see what I got, then do keep on watching, do subscribe, and I will get straight into it. So I wanted to go to Paris for some time and I especially wanted to go because they have the Opera Garnier which is the opera house that inspired Gaston Leroux to write Phantom of the Opera. I went there along with quite a few other places. I went with my mum and we had such a good time. I have posted like some photos on Instagram so if you'd like to go and check those out I will leave my Instagram here on the screen. It's at simply underscore spooky. So if you'd like to see some of my photos from that it's mainly like the architecture so <laughs> if, you, if you want to see that do check out my Instagram. But I picked up some really cool things from there. We did quite a lot. We like went on Saturday morning and came back Sunday evening and we packed in as much as we could. <laughs> Got some stuff from the opera house and also some things from the catacombs. <laughs> I hope they had a gift shop and I was not disappointed. <laughs> so I'll start with the opera house stuff. So that was my number one place I wanted to go. I'd seen TikToks of it. It looks beautiful. It's covered in like gold. It's really fancy. We did a tour of the place after it shut. It was really, really cool. So I'll show you the things I picked up from that gift shop. So the first one is not, it's not something I bought from the gift shop but it's just my ticket but I feel like places don't do tickets like this nowadays it's always you have to print them off yourself and they're just kind of boring on paper and also the photo on the back I just think it's a nice ticket a bit strange but I'm hanging on to this <laughs> I got four things from that gift shop so the main thing that I knew they did because I'm sure I saw like a tiktok of someone recording it but I knew they did a phantom mask key ring I nearly said necklace key ring and this was one of the things that I really really wanted and they did it they also did another one that had like more things on it that had like box five and like some other stuff but it was really really long so this was the first thing that I got so it's a little 3d phantom mask which is really cool it's actually very kind of accurate to the show and it's actually a really nice quality. I think it's like a metal, but it just feels really, really good quality. And it's on a little gold key ring. It's just really, really cool. So I did pick this up. I also saw these at the till and I grabbed one of these quickly. It's like a medallion thing, but it says Opera National de Paris. And it's got a phantom mask on it and it says made in France. It's almost like one of those pressed coins, but it's a little bit different. Yeah, so I got this coin. I just thought it looked really, really cool. And it says made in France. So I also got that. I also got a t-shirt. I nearly bought the tote bag, but I also got a tote bag from somewhere else. And I saw this top and I was like, absolutely. <laughs> I don't actually have a phantom top, so I feel like this was gonna happen eventually. But I really like this one. So it's like a black crew neck t-shirt. Um, it just says Opera, Opera National de Paris in it. And then it's got a phantom mask. And then it says Le Phantom de l'Opera. <laughs> so it is in French. I just thought this was really cool. And I'd love to wear this to the show with like some leather shorts and like fishnet tights and do like a gothy Phantom of the Opera outfit. Um, I do also have Phantom mask necklaces in my shop so if you are a phantom of the opera fan i do sell those so i'll link that in the description for you but yeah i did get this t-shirt can't wait to wear it <laughs> so i did get this the last thing i got from the opera house was a little christine <laughs> i love these so i'm not sure if they're all made by the same company or what but usually like historic places have a lot of these they have a lot of these in like london um with like landmarks i went to westminster abbey lately and st paul's cathedral and they all have like gift shops with these types of things in them and like london landmarks and historic people i do have an anne boleyn on my wall so i absolutely love these and i 
didn't know a Christine existed. So it's really cool how you can find different ones in different locations because I'm guessing that's the only place where she would be. So I just think that's really cool. So I did pick up a little Christine. Um, so that is what she looks like. She's got like the beads in her hair. Her hair's kind of really accurate, like really well done. And then she's in like almost like a wedding dress, I would say. You can see the details a bit more. It's very lacy and she's holding a rose. I think they're supposed to be like tree decorations, but I hang them on my wall. <laughs> yeah, I just think she's really, really cute. And I was so excited when I saw her because I didn't, I wasn't expecting to find one of her. So yeah, I was really excited to pick one up. I really, I kind of wish they had a phantom because I'd love to put them together, but I have a Christine and yeah, I'm really happy with her. We also went to St. Chapel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That building is beautiful. It's got like a thousand and something stained glass windows it's like supposed to be one of the most impressive pieces of gothic architecture like in the world and it was very very impressive so from there i got this little bookmark i have got back into reading which is exciting because that's been something i wanted to do for ages but i just couldn't get back into it and now i'm like fully in it <laughs> so this is a little bookmark and i'm not sure if you can really see it but it's almost like a metallic sheen to it and you can see the details when it catches the light it's like a, like a thinnish card maybe but at the bottom it says paris and all the all of the details are cut out of this so it says paris but do you see when it catches the light like it shifts it's really pretty it's got one of these i'm not sure what that is called but is it Fle Fleur de Lis or something? And it says Saint Chapel and that's cut out. And then you've got the chapel up here. And you can see all of like the lines appearing when it shifts. It's just so pretty. That was my little bookmark from Saint Chapel. Love it. And it's very fancy with the gold. They did have a bunch of colours. But there's a lot of like gold in all these fancy buildings. So I did go for gold. I also went to the Louvre, I think is how you pronounce it. It's quite a well-known art museum. It has the Mona Lisa. I did see the Mona Lisa, which was exciting. Very hard to get to because people literally queue up to see it. Um, but we didn't stay in there too long. It was extremely hot in there. Um, but the main bit that we did see was the Egyptian stuff. I just love Egyptian things. I've always been fascinated with the Egyptians. Even when I was younger, I loved like Egyptian day. Um, I went to the British Museum. They have an amazing collection of stuff. So we mainly saw that. The gift shop after that had a lot of Mona Lisa stuff, which makes sense. But I also found some Egyptian stuff, which is exciting because I don't think I have any Egyptian stuff. So the first thing I got was a, I think they call this a sarcophagus. So I got this bookmark. These were only a euro. So I feel like this was quite a good price. So I did get this bookmark. I also got a magnet and I did see this. They had this literal stone in the museum. So I did take loads of photos of that and recognised this in the gift shop. So I do have it now on a magnet. And the last thing I got from the Louvre Museum is a Cleopatra. <laughs> I, as I said, I really like the Egyptians. I really like these, like decorations i just think they're really unique and i love that they all differ between each place and i have never seen a cleopatra i don't know if they have a gift shop in the british museum maybe i haven't been to it or maybe it doesn't exist but i've never seen a cleopatra and i love the egyptians and i i've got a lot of comments saying i look like cleopatra and i think it's because of the eyeliner and also the black hair with the fringe <laughs> so i thought it was kind of fitting to get a cleopatra so that is what she looks like very very cool i love all of the details they put into these as well and the last two things i got from the catacombs i that was my second like bucket list thing like the first one was the opera garnier and the second one was the catacombs it was very interesting like they give you an audio guide and everything and it's just really cool so i got two things from there the first thing i got was a tote bag i feel like i've got a lot of tote bags now <laughs> Um, but I loved the design of this. So it's a black tote bag and then it says Le Catacombs de Paris. And it's got this like skull formation. I just think it's really cool. I like that it's got all of the skulls like arranged neatly like the catacombs. And I like that it says this so it's not just like a skull bag. Like it, you know someone's got it from here. So it's very big actually. 
<laughs> but I did get this tote bag and I like that it matches this <laughs> I do like the bags that you get given in there as well um, but the gift shop in there was amazing they had so much stuff they had a lot of branded stuff that I see over here um, they had loads of like stationery and like pencils and like skull erasers and notebooks and glasses and homeware like the shop was huge it was a lot bigger than I thought it was they had a lot of books as well that were interesting but of course they were all in French so that wouldn't have worked out <laughs> but the last thing I got from the catacombs gift shop was a I guess it's like a makeup bag but it's slightly bigger maybe like a toiletry canvas bag but i love these when i went to paris i used a lot of these for different things like i had one for makeup one for skincare one for hair bows like to store them in so they don't get damaged like these bags are so handy because i always i can never have enough of these <laughs> um so i really liked the design of this as well it's like all of these skulls but it's very subtle which i thought was quite good like it's more like oh it's a pattern and then you look closer and it's skulls <laughs> so I really liked the design of this I like this that cream and black it's that aesthetic that I really like that sometimes TK Maxx does and it's got this gold foil on it which is really really pretty I just loved the design of this and then on the front again it does say that it's from the catacombs which I do really like it's not just a generic kind of skull bag and it even has like a, a candle a skull and like an hourglass almost like a memento mori kind of theme going on but yeah, it's just a really nice canvas bag. So that was everything that I picked up in Paris. I am so happy with all of the things I found. I absolutely loved going there and seeing all of the things that I wanted to see. It was amazing. It was a really good trip. Um, but I did want to share with you the things I got from all the lovely gift shops. <laughs> Go to my Instagram if you'd like to see more photos of things. I will try and post things of like everywhere I went because um, they were very very impressive so i hope you enjoyed this video do like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was and if you've been to any of the places that i mentioned and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye